Joseph Stalin has gone down in history as one of the most infamous dictators who ever lived. He oversaw the death of millions and infected Soviet society with censorship, propaganda and intimidation. Most people, however, know very little about Stalin's personal life. And, as you might expect, his marriage did not end well. Stalin's first marriage came to a close in 1907 after just one year when his wife died from an illness. The exact cause of death is unknown. Stalin's second wife, Nadezhda Alulieva, will therefore be the focus of this video. Stalin stayed with Nadezhda's family back in 1917 as he was close friends with her father, who, like Stalin, was one of the earliest members of the Bolshevik party. Nadezhda was already sympathetic towards the Bolsheviks' cause and was very taken with Stalin despite the significant age gap. Stalin was 40 and she was only 16. Two years later, they called themselves husband and wife. There was no official ceremony as most Bolsheviks didn't register their marriages. Though it's impossible to know for certain, historians generally believe that Stalin and Nadezhda did feel a genuine affection for each other to begin with. And their first child, a boy named Vasily, was born in 1921. Their daughter, Svetlana, was born in 1926. But even at this stage, the marriage was under strain. After Vladimir Lenin's death in January 1924, Stalin had been caught up in a leadership struggle and his family had taken a back seat. The couple would quarrel about both personal and political issues. Nadezhda didn't receive much help from her family as they often sided with her husband. Stalin's ego didn't help matters. He was a stubborn man who refused to acknowledge his faults. Stalin's sense of importance only increased when he became the new leader of the USSR at the end of the 1920s. Nadezhda, meanwhile, spent much of her time at the Industrial Academy in Moscow, where she studied synthetic fibre production. It was normal for wives of party members to have a role outside the home, and the children spent most of their day-to-day -day lives with a nanny instead. Nadezhda's time at the Industrial Academy wasn't enough to distract her from her declining mental health. She spent her final night at a banquet in the Kremlin on the 8th of November 1932. The banquet was held in celebration of the anniversary of the revolution in 1917. During the proceedings, yet another argument broke out between Stalin and Nadezhda. The details of the argument are not clear, though some accounts say Stalin was drunk and that he even threw cigarettes at his wife. In any case, Nadezhda then left the banquet and returned to her room. In the early hours of the morning, Nadezhda shot herself through the heart with a pistol. The body was discovered by a housekeeper and a nurse several hours later. There was no ambiguity about the death but Stalin wanted to hide the truth. The press did not mention suicide. Instead, they claimed that Nadezhda had died from a sudden illness. Stalin also lied to his children by telling them the same story. They didn't discover the truth about their mother for more than a decade. Stalin was genuinely shaken by his wife's death. Other Bolsheviks were concerned about his physical and mental health, so he moved out of the Kremlin to a rural location west of Moscow. Nadezhda's suicide continued to be covered up due to concerns about Stalin's public image. He was worried that his wife's death would tarnish his honour, harming the prestigious reputation the party wanted to portray. Like many aspects of the Soviet Union, pride was more important than truth. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to know more about history, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. I'll be back soon with another video.